Assalamualaikum Ok, um, for this slide uh, I will explain about the regulation of blood sugar level Ok, for normal person The blood glucose level concentration is About 75 until 110 mg of glucose In 100 ml of blood And the pancreas as an endocrine gland Uh, to regulate the blood sugar level there are two hormones secreted by pancreas which are insulin and glucagon okay look at to the picture of pancreas okay there are two uh, islet of langer hands which are uh, beta cell and alpha cell okay so beta cell secrete insulin while alpha cell secrete glucagon uh, for the delta cell uh, it will secrete somatostatin okay untuk somatostatin kita tak belajar untuk form 5 okay untuk form 5 kita akan belajar glucagon dan insulin sahaja okay so uh, pancreas akan me merembes okey dua jenis uh, hormon yang dinamakan insulin insulin uh, dikeluarkan ataupun dirembes oleh beta sel manakala glukagon dirembes oleh alpha sel Okay, this slide is explain the corrective mechanism or regulation of blood sugar level. Okay, basically uh, after eating, our uh, glucose level will increases or rises. So, the pancreas will stimulate to secrete insulin. Okay, the effect of insulin okay, will cause the effector such as liver muscle cells and adipose tissue to uh, to do the corrective mechanism okay for the liver uh, liver is an organ and it will use glucose for respiration or increase the uh, cellular respiration rate okay and then when the glucose are excess it will uh, convert to glycogen Okay, and then the glycogen we store in the liver. Okay, for the muscle cell, uh, also use the glucose for cellular respiration to generate energy. And then it will convert the glucose to glycogen and store the glycogen in the muscle cell and build the protein for muscle cell. While the adipose tissue uh, also use the glucose for respiration or cellular respiration and the uh, excess glucose will form fat ok untuk creative mechanism uh, after uh, glucose level increases ni uh, organ seperti uh, liver, hati, uh, muscle cell, uh, otot dan adipose tissue, tissue adipose akan uh, melakukan uh, mekanism untuk membetulkan Uh, tahap glukos seseorang iaitu dengan meningkatkan kadar uh, uh, respirasi ataupun cellular respiration so it we use the glucose to uh, generate energy and then bila dia guna glukos tu maksudnya glukos akan berkurangan tetapi apabila uh, seseorang tu meng, uh, mengambil glukos yang lebih ataupun mengambil karbohidrat yang lebih maka uh, kelebihan glukos tu akan ditukarkan kepada glikogen untuk disimpan ok uh, untuk liver ataupun hati dan masa sel dia akan simpan dalam bentuk glikogen ok tapi adipose tissue akan uh, menukarkan ke dalam bentuk lemak untuk sebahagian simpanan so uh, after all the corrective mechanism occur the glucose level will be lower ok uh, when we fasting or uh, in between meal or after exercise the glucose level will fall 
Okay, so the pancreas we secrete glucagon. Okay, hormon glucagon. So the creative mechanism occur. Okay, in the liver, the glycogen will convert to the glucose. And the adipose tissue will break down the lipids of fat and release fatty acid that can be metabolized to generate energy. So, ini berlaku semasa kita... Uh, Uh, tak apa uh, ber, semasa kita berpuasa ataupun antara jar, antara waktu antara makan ataupun kita banyak exercise so semua glikogen yang disimpan tu akan tukar balik jadi glukos dan adipose tissue tu uh, yang uh, mengandungi lemak akan di uh, ditukarkan ataupun breakdown menjadi fatty acid okey dan akan generate energy so Uh, glucose level we rise, rises okay uh, bila glycogen dah tukar jadi glucose